Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to talk to you about how to fill in a Venn diagram using or given three sets. So the first thing I would say to you is please don't lose sight of what you've learnt with Venn diagrams with two sets. Keep that in mind and just use the same process as we're going along. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously draw in our Venn diagram. Um, I'm going to draw my three circles and then I'm going to draw in my universe. And I'm going to label everything. So I've got my universe, I've got A, B and C. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at A, B and C and see if there's any numbers that they have in common between all three sets. So looking through that list of numbers, I can see that they have the number 4 in common. So I'm going to circle that and that needs to go into the um, intersection of A, B and C, which is in here. And then we're going to cross that off so we know we don't write that again. The next thing you do is, I suppose, a little bit different to what we did with two sets because we didn't need to do this step, is we need to look at the intersection between A and B and then the intersection between B and C and the intersection between A and C. And obviously we've already filled in four, but we need to see if there's any other numbers that are in common between those two sets as we're going along. So if we start off with A and B, is there any other numbers that they have in common? And I've spotted that they have the number one in common. So I circle the number one. Do they have anything else? No. So the number one goes in here. Now, just to be very aware at this point, guys, the intersection between A and B does not just have the number one in it. It also has the number four. However, the number four is also in common with C. So just keep that in mind. OK, we'll cross off the number one. Now I'm going to look at the intersection between B and C and see do they have anything else in common? They have the number 11 in common. So I'm going to pop that in there and cross that off. And we're going to do the same with A and C. Do they have anything in common? Yes, they have the number 7. So I'm going to write the number 7 in there and I'm going to cross those off. The next thing then is back to what we we're used to doing. We fill out the rest of A and then B and then C. So the, I only have 3 and 6 to fill in here. In B I have 2 and 5. And in C I have 8 and 9. Now, one thing I would also say at this point is have a look in your three Venn diagrams and make sure that no number has been repeated more than once. If it has, it means that it should be in the intersection somewhere. The last step then is we need to make sure we filled out everything from our universe, which goes between 1 and 12. So I'm just going to do a quick check. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... No 10, so 10 goes on the outside. We've got 11. Do we have a 12? No, so that also goes on the outside. Okay, guys, so we're going to try and answer a few questions then based on this Venn diagram. So the first one is A intersection B. And again, you need to be very careful with this one. The intersection between A and B is everything in the middle. The big mistake on the junior cert is students only write down the 1, but it's also the 4. So we've got 1 and 4 in the intersection. Number 2 is A union B complement, or dash as we sometimes call it in class, but it is the complement. So A union B is everything in A and B. So that would be everything in here, everything in the middle, and everything in B. And... If we take that, the complement of that is everything outside. So basically, we're dealing with everything outside those two circles. So we've got 8, 9, 10, and 12. Okay. Um, okay, so moving forward then, the next one is A less C. So that means that I want everything in the A circle but I want nothing to do with the C circle. So I always like put my hand over the C circle. So I want everything in the blue circle except for where it's in common with the C circle. So if you put your hand over the C circle, you'll see that the only uh, elements left are one, three, and six. And the next one then, number four, is A intersection B intersection C. That's what they all have in common which is the number four. And the last one, it's our C circle. So again, I'm just gonna put an orange or a green circle around that. So I want my C circle less A union B. 
So I want nothing to do with the A and the union B circles. So put your hand over A union B and what's left in the C circle, it's just eight and nine. Okay guys, so if you can have a quick go at this question for me, pause the video, do it in your copy and then play the video to see how you got on. Okay, so I'm going to draw my three circles, label them A, B and C and I'm going to start off by filling in the intersection of all three uh, circles. So what do A, B and C all have in common? I'm after spotting the number two, so two goes into the center. Now remember guys, it won't always just be one number in the center, it will just depend. Then I'm gonna look at A, intersection B and C, do they have anything else in common? And they have four in common, so it's gonna go in there. Then I'm gonna look at B, intersection C, and B, intersection C, they have a one in common, do they have anything else? No, so one goes there. And then I'm going to have a look at A, intersection C. They have a 6 as well. Anything else? No. So 6 goes in there and I cross it off. Then I'm going to fill out the rest of A, which is 8 and 10. The rest of B, which is 3 and 5. And the rest of C, which is 9 and 11. I'm going to have a quick look there and just make sure there's no overlap of numbers. No, I think I'm okay. Now I'm going to check my universe. So I need to go through 1 up to 11. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So I believe that 7 is the only number that I need to put into the um, universe. Now we're going to have a go at each of those questions. So the first one is A intersection C. So where do the A and the C circles um, cross over? And that's going to be there. So they have 2 and 6 in common. The next one is A, sorry, pardon me, B union C complement. So that means everything outside of the B and the C circle, including their... Um, their uh, intersection as well. So B intersection, sorry, union C is basically everything in here and everything in here. So we want everything outside of that, which is literally just going to be 7, 8 and 10. The next one is A less B. So that's basically saying I want everything in the A circle apart from anything in common that it has with the B circle. So you put your hand over the B circle and write down everything else. So that's going to be six, eight, and 10. Be careful on that one because some people forget about the six there, but remember that's not part of the B circle. So that's why we write it down. The next one is A intersection B less C. So first of all, let's go and figure out where A intersection B is. That's this section here. But we're going to put our hand over the entire C circle and see that the 2 then disappears because it's in the C circle. So we're just left with 4. And the final one, A intersection B intersection C is going to be what they all have in common. And that's the number 2.